The Durham District School Board acknowledges that many Indigenous nations have long-standing relationships, both historic and modern, with the territories upon which our schools and school board are located. Today, this area is home to many Indigenous peoples from across Turtle Island. We acknowledge that Durham Region forms a part of the traditional and treaty territory of the Mississauga of Scugog Island First Nation, the Mississauga Peoples, and the treaty territory of the Chippewas of Georgina Island First Nation. It is on these ancestral and treaty lands that we teach, learn, and live. Hello, graduates. My name is Carolyn Morton, and I'm the chair of the DDSB Board of Trustees. On behalf of the Board of Trustees at the Durham District School Board, we are so proud to congratulate you on this major accomplishment. Often this ceremony signifies the conclusion of one chapter of our lives and the beginning of a new chapter that has yet to be written. This last year of school was not what anyone wanted or expected. We all hoped our routines would have returned to normal. In spite of this, you persevered. You succeeded in completing your studies and taught us that we can all move forward despite the challenges we will face in life. This is also a time for us to reflect and to give thanks. We give thanks for the many relationships and the bonds that we have forged and nurtured with fellow students and teachers. We are grateful for the varied programs and the rich experiences which have been provided by our educators and our coaches. There are many opportunities ahead for you, whether it's the opportunity of a post-secondary education at college or university, the opportunity to pursue a skilled trade through an apprenticeship program, or the chance to enter the world of work. We are thankful for our choices and the support of our families and community. Your secondary school diploma means the beginning of new challenges and the promise of success in the future. Remember that education is not limited to schools which you attend. It is a lifelong process. Adopting the mindset of a lifelong learner will serve you well. Continually adding knowledge and skill sets to your arsenal will equip you to manage the many changes and challenges which you will encounter. Be proud of the person that you have become. Take pride in your accomplishments. Contemplate your goals, then proceed with passion and confidence. Thank you parents and guardians, grandparents and educators, for being positive role models for our graduates. You've provided strong root systems which will anchor and guide, but you've also provided and allowed our young people to grow and spread their wings. You too, families and teachers, should celebrate the success of our children and our students. On a final note, graduates, on behalf of the Durham District School Board, I wish each of you good fortune and much success in future endeavors and happiness wherever life may lead you. It is now time to start planning and writing that next chapter. Stay strong, stay safe, and be well. Have a great summer, and once again, congratulations. Thank you. Hello graduates. For those of you who may not know who I am, my name is James Kay and I have the pleasure of serving as a student trustee for North Durham. I wanted to extend my congratulations to the graduating class of 2021 and becoming alumni of Brock High School. For many of you, this journey in completing secondary school may have seemed as if it came too quickly, and for others it may have seemed to drag on. However, it must be very exciting to finally be closing this long-awaited and well-deserved journey in completing your secondary school careers. It is truly inspiring to see all of you in the beginning stages of pursuing your dreams. Not only did you all remain resilient during an unprecedented time, but you rose above and made Brock High School very proud as you transitioned into young adults throughout your four years of high school. If there is one thing I have learned from the graduating class of 2021, it is the importance of companionship 
and community. As I wish you all the best in all of your future endeavors, I hope you will always remember that Brock High School is in your corner and supporting you. Wherever you may go, east, west, north, or south, Brock will always be home. Thank you, and I wish you all the best. Hello, I'm appreciative of the invitation to add my congratulations to the graduating class of 2021. You are indeed a unique class. You began high school in grade nine, anticipating the normal process to unfold. I don't think any of us predicted how our lives would change beginning in March 2020. You've made it through extraordinary times filled with uncertainty and challenge. So let me begin by saying, give yourself a huge pat on the back for being a graduate despite the tough times that have fallen on us. You are what history will reference many years from now. With your graduation also comes the light at the end of the tunnel in terms of the pandemic. We're all optimistic that conditions for life are changing. I want you to know that as, as I have seen classes learning this year and reaching out, I've been incredibly moved by the optimism of this generation and your willingness to stand up and make a difference. We know that the pandemic impacted those in vulnerable situations the hardest. I have seen your compassion and care for community. While these past days have been tough ones, my hope is that moving forward, we create a kinder and more community-oriented world as a result of what we have experienced. This pandemic has shown us the importance of the collective, that we're all interdependent, and that we understand the importance of putting community safety before individualistic desires. Thank you to each of you for all that you've given to your school and to the broader community. I want to acknowledge your family and our staff during this celebration. Thank you to them for the times that they've assisted you in your learning and well-being. We've all become much more familiar and flexible as remote learning has dominated the school year. This pandemic has reinforced how we're all learners and the importance of compassion and care. The wonder of science as we saw how research and public health policy developed through almost lifetime evidence. The joy of art as we saw poets such as the young American Amanda Gorman inspire the world with her spoken word, The Hill We Climb. And closer to home as school communities shifted creatively into trying to build a new kind of learning and connection. I feel every confidence that you will move forward and create a meaningful path from this point. Sometimes those paths may not be linear and that's okay, as long as you're continuing to learn and to strive to be informed by kindness and social justice. I know that you've been shaped by what you have experienced, and I also know that your school and families did all they could to support you in succeeding. Tonight, please also take the opportunity to reach out and thank the individuals who've made a difference in your life and encouraged you in your journey. A life shaped by gratitude is a life that is bound to be rewarding as you give thanks for good things. So once again, my sincere congratulations on your accomplishment. I look forward to welcoming you back as Durham District School Board alumni at future events. Good evening, graduates, parents, guardians, families, and honored guests. Welcome to the Brock High School virtual commencement for our 2021 graduating class. Like my COVID beard, this commencement is not quite what we expected, but also like my beard, we're hoping that this online ceremony brings you joy and a smile. It is my pleasure to be able to offer opening remarks and to be able to speak to you today as our graduates complete the final step of their high school academic career and as they're about to undertake their next steps towards the incredible life experiences that await for them. To our graduates, when you arrived on Brock High School's doorstep in August, four short years ago with your parents and your guardians for the very first grade nine day of your career and your introduction to arguably the best high school in all of Durham District School Board, you may not have been thinking about changes. In the four years since that day though, many, many changes have happened to you. Think about those changes and ask yourself, what did you learn? Who were your friends? And did that friend group change at all over your time at Brock? 
Who challenged you and made you think and maybe made you change your mind? How did you get involved in the school and what did you achieve? And how will you continue to change as your future unfolds? What other changes could happen and what could be improved upon tomorrow, next week, even next year to make you a better you? To quote my Angelou, do the best you can until you know better. And then when you know better, you can do better. As this year progressed and we dealt with the impacts and multiple pivots of a global pandemic, we have realized here at Brock that there are several final memories that you may have missed, like being able to physically walk through the halls of Brock, getting nostalgic and being able to reminisce and say, wow, I'm in the library for the last time. I'm eating in the cafeteria and enjoying those fantastic fries for the last time. You may have wished to be able to listen to the get to class tunes and morning announcements, go Bulldogs, for the last time. Or maybe, maybe watching the midday sun stream through those cold 300 hallway classroom windows for the last time. Or perhaps you miss simply racing to phys ed, science, math, or English for the last time. We have missed having those final memories with you. In the end, though, you've done it. You've done it, graduates. You have persevered and completed your graduation requirements, and you will have memories to reflect on, which I might add, have been expertly captured in the yearbook, which we are gifting to you, and has been put together with skill by Miss Brooks and her yearbook team. You and your families uh, will have this opportunity to celebrate, and we know your families and friends are anxiously awaiting this opportunity to welcome you as our new Brock grads and our new Brock alumni. But before I close, there are a few instances of recognition that absolutely must happen. Firstly, this commencement involves hours of preparation involving the entire Brock High School staff. But I do have to make special mention of a number of members of the commencement team, specifically Miss Judy Miller, Miss Dana Joyce, Miss Sarah Mappin, Miss Kelly Johnston, Miss Julianne Byrne, Miss Deg McFadden, Miss Kelly Brooks, and Miss Jennifer Boudreaux. Thank you for your tireless efforts in coordinating and creating this fantastic celebration of student accomplishment. Secondly, thank you deeply to LifeTouch for your photographic wizardry during the awards presentation time. Huge thanks to Ms. Karen Clark and her team of educators for the decorations at our commencement site. A big thanks to Harmony Mapes Robbins for reading the land acknowledgement. And finally, a big thanks to our senior team members for sharing your greetings and good wishes with us. Thirdly, graduates, you should take some time right now to turn and thank your parents, your guardians, your grandparents, your aunts, your uncles, your cousins, your sisters, your brothers, all of whom have supported your efforts to get here, your graduation ceremony. We, as a staff, have had the privilege of working with you for four short years, but family is forever. And you need to make sure that you show your appreciation to your family for their enduring support. Finally, a message directly to our graduates. As you leave us, please remember that you will always remain Brock Bulldogs at heart, and we look forward to hearing about the bright futures you have created when you visit us, especially once COVID has been conquered. We cannot wait to hear about the fantastic things you've done and experienced. Just make sure you make an appointment before coming into the school. Congratulations to one and all, and thank you for attending our Brock High School virtual commencement of 2021. Hello, my name is Steve Ray and I'm the retired vice principal from Brock High School. I would rather be ashes than dust. I would rather that my spark should burn out in a brilliant blaze than it should be stifled by dry rot. I would rather be a superb meteor, every atom of me in magnificent glow, than a sleepy and permanent planet. The function of man is to live, not to exist. I shall not waste my days trying to prolong them. I shall use my time. These words are ascribed to Jack London sometime in the earliest days of 1900, even before I was born, these are words used to describe himself and his own philosophy on life. 
I use these words to describe a student that I taught almost two decades ago, and I can again with your valedictorian, Hannah Watson. It is rare in the position of vice principal that you get to spend any real amount of time getting to know the students for whom high school is a great experience. Last year and the last 14 months of school have been far from normal. So I had more interactions with students that did think school was great and who actually wanted to make it better than the opposite. One of those students that I worked with and interacted with was Hannah Watson. Even with that, I never saw her face uncovered and in person until June. Hannah was our student council prime minister and had student council running like it was a normal year, meeting regularly and making many different events happen, mostly virtually, but all with the same amazing happy vibe. Students council wanted spirit wear, so Hannah and I worked on getting quotes and speaking with different companies. Hannah was like a seasoned pro and ended up making a solid decision on behalf of the school. Hannah was the student council rep on student community council and reported monthly, then listened and participated as her homework and other activities begged for attention and adults droned on in a happy and productive manner until the end of the meeting. Hannah was our opening exercises person. Every cohort B day, she was on the microphone leading us through the land acknowledgement, O Canada, the thought of the day, and whatever announcements there were, all with a level of happiness and joy that was inspirational and infectious. Hannah was a superb meteor while at Brock High School, using her time not just in activity, but in thoughtful work to achieve amazing grades, the respect of her friends and teachers, and to make her school experience the best ever. Having seen Hannah do her thing at Brock this past year allows me to believe with confidence that she is always a superb meteor, every atom of her in magnificent glow rather than a sleepy and permanent planet. Hannah uses her time. She does not just try to endure or prolong it, but rather making things better for everyone around her. In fact, making everyone around her better. It is my great pleasure to introduce that superb meteor, your valedictorian for 2020-2021, Hannah Watson. Hey grads, and welcome to friends, family, staff, and others. Happy graduation! If you don't know me, my name is Hannah Watson, and I'm your class of 2021 valedictorian. Now, considering that the legend himself, Tyler West, was last year's valedictorian, I have some pretty big shoes to fill, but I will try my best. Okay, so I want you to close your eyes and imagine this. Flashback to 2017. Ugg boots were still a thing. Despacito was playing on the radio, every other song. And there I was, bright-eyed, standing outside Brock for the very first time. I had a very specific and detailed picture in my mind of exactly how I expected high school to go. And naturally, it went precisely the opposite way of what I'd expected, and I'm sure you can all say the same, uh, but that's besides the point. For me, high school was it. It was the end goal. Get to high school, become a teenager, live happily ever after. Now, flash back to 2021. Very last day of in-person classes, somewhere in early April, if I'm remembering correctly. And there I was, standing behind a lab bench in 210, dissecting a pregnant rat. And it really hit me for the first time that Brock was soon to be a thing of the past. I think in all of our pasts. I don't know about you, but I had never really imagined what life would actually be like outside of high school. I'd never fully comprehended that I'd be starting a life soon. I don't know how to do that. <laughs> no one ever taught me how. Somehow, life goes on, so we have to deal with that. Now, not that I've gotten much wiser since that last fateful day in April, but if you too are struggling with how to exist as an adult in the world, then here are some insights for you. Take notes if you like. So number one, everyone is moving at a different pace. Don't rush to catch up with others. Do it in your own time. Take that extra time and get good at things because we have nothing right now, if not for an abundance of time. Number two, 
You do not have to know what you want to do or what you want to be. This is our time to try things. If you've realized that you're in the wrong college program, that's okay. If you're working to save up for school, that's okay. And if you never want to step foot inside of another school in your entire life, that's okay too. You do not need to make decisions about your entire future right now. In the words of my mom, fake it till you make it. And number three, take those chances. Learn what you like doing, learn what you hate doing. Either way, you can do what you want to do now. Just live deliberately. In the words of Henry David Thoreau, I went to the woods because I wished to live deliberately and not when I came to die, discover that I had not lived. Live now and figure the rest out along the way. I'd like to now turn it around and place the attention on our teachers and school staff for everything that they do and continue to do to make Brock such a special place. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I know it's just me saying it right now, but on behalf of our entire class, thank you so much. It is hard up here in a rural school, but the Brock faculty really do go out of their way to make Brock a special place. I'm talking about grade nine camp, all those buyouts, school trips to Wonderland or to the zoo, special guests who have come to your classes. Those are not things that have to happen. But I think it's really special that we've gotten to grow up with all these experiences and especially under the guidance of such devoted people. Some of my favorite high school memories are those moments spent chatting with my teachers or hearing about their life stories. I'll be the first to admit it. It's sad to leave behind. No matter how much you dreaded waking up early to catch the bus every day, change is never easy. But it's our turn now to leave, even if you don't feel ready to just yet. Maybe, quite possibly, you're not where you wanna be right now, but that's okay. The world has been shaken. If you didn't get into your top school or make it for that apprenticeship, or if you're doubting your future, that's okay. We have so much time to figure it out. And if you already know exactly what you want from life, that's amazing. Don't let anyone take that away from you. So I'll leave you with these parting words. We're the ones now. The world is in our hands. Make Brock proud out there. Thank you. And for one last time, signing off, Go Bulldogs! Woo! <laughs>
Thank you. 